Greetings, whiskey folk, and welcome to the official Dram Association and bottling of Rifle Rye. And we're in quite a fitting venue. My studio is under construction right now, so we have entered Big Bad John's. Who is we? Well, I'm not just saying the royal we, despite the accent. I actually do have a partner in crime. Can you guess who? Well, guess quickly, because it's Brett. <laughs> Hi! He, he, he's, on, he's on duty. He's even wearing the official Strath uh, thing. Although, I'm, I'm wearing Strath uniforms. Yeah, this you're, is the official this, uniform, That's close right? enough. <laughs> Hi, whiskey folk. Long time no see. Uh, so I'm very excited about Rifle Rye. Have you tried this one yet? No, not yet. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I got a sample um, just before it came out. Uh, Megan liked it so much she bought a bottle straight away. Oh, perfect. And this is the spiritual successor to one of my all-time favorite Canadian whiskeys, which got discontinued a few years ago. Remember the Alberta Premium Dark Horse? Oh, I love the Dark Horse. Yeah. This is Dark Horse 2.0 in a sense. It's dropped the Alberta Premium branding. It does say Alberta Distillers, though. It's got a little Alberta Distillers logo, which you don't often see. Do you know? Yeah. Have you ever seen that logo before? No, no. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. Looks a little um, cultish, actually. It's, yeah, a little yeah. strange. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful whiskey. 42% ABV. Let's crack it open, and then I'll tell you a little bit about what makes it so unique. All right. Hey, you brought a glass. Good for you. I you bring prepared, fingernails? I'm, I'm not sure I've got the fingernails with this. Uh, oh, oh, I've got it. We're no, good. Okay, good. Fantastic. So, in case you're wondering why we're doing this in Big Bad John's and why we're all a little disheveled and rushed. I think I look great today. Sorry, why well, I am a little disheveled and rushed. <laughs> it's Victoria Whiskey Fest week. Um, it starts a week yesterday. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> we're six days away. Don't worry, we're already exhausted. Uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> But I'm sure this is going to have uh, a, a lot of a lot of people trying it at the festival. I hope so. I hope so. Um, I can only assume it's been nominated at least for uh, Canadian Whiskey Awards. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I know for a fact it's going to be available at the bar at the Hotel Grand Pacific. So that's kind of cool. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Good pop. Good pop. Alrighty. And I'm trying my best to get it actually down in the uh, in the Wicket Hall as well because I think this would be a fantastic whiskey for that venue. Oh, yeah. Actually, that'd be great. It's, you know, good quality at a good price. 48 bucks a bottle is full price, so you can get 10% off that right now. So that'll make it, what, like 43-ish? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a good one. Nice color. The color's a bit cheating on this one, kind of, I guess. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that. Not that there's any fake coloring in it, as far as I'm aware. It's got the dark horse nose. It does, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I still have, like... It, it, Less than an inch of Dark Horse. I've got about half a bottle, so I can top you up a bit if you, if you need. I, I also managed to find at a thrift store recently a Dark Horse glass. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was quite happy with that. Anyways, big fan of that whiskey, and I'm hoping this one is just as oh, good. Smells great. So why is it a bit of a spiritual successor? Well, same kind of process. Dark Horse had this thing where it was... Um, it used the 1 11th rule. And for those not familiar with that, it means that 91% or um, 10 11ths of your Canadian whiskey must be Canadian whiskey. Mm -hmm. And the others can be other spirits or fortified wines uh, to be used to uh, uh, add some extra interesting flavors. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that used recently uh, in a very variety of ways. Bareface does that Oaxaca edition. Oh, yeah, the, the, the yeah. 111 series. Indeed. From There's only been yeah. one in the 111 series so far. I'm They've also started a wilderness series since then, yep. and there have also only been one of that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite know if they understand what the word series means, but I mean, I'm sure they'll get there. Actually, I think, believe it or not, I think the wilderness series was the last time I was on a Drinking Out Loud video. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. Get that cool mushroom. Well, you're still not on a Drinking Out Loud video. This is an unbottling. All right, unbottling yeah, video. Yeah, sorry. Apologies, different different apologies. series altogether. Same channel. Same channel. <laughs> same, 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 same big, channel. ugly, bald face on it, but I can, I can, get, the, I can get the confusion. <laughs> I so, wish I saw you with a bald face. Oh, that's true, yeah. Bald-headed face. Yeah, my apologies. Um, I, I, I was thinking about shaving my beard for charity, and then I remembered that I'm fairly sure... Um, I'm fairly sure Kristen would leave me. Yeah, your yeah. fiance would she, no longer be your fiance. No, and yeah. that's not cool. No, no. Anyway, I love Kristen, she's great. So, one eleventh rule: ninety-one percent of this is, of course, Alberta Premiums Rye. Yep. The big difference: this is not the same Alberta Premium Rye that you're used to. In fact, this is not Alberta Premium Rye at all. This is Alberta Distillers Rye, but it is not Alberta Premium. This is pot still rye. Oh, not really? Not still rye. So, essentially, the same kind of thing as Lot Forty. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, pretty pretty neat. Um, and then they did play with the rest of the recipe a little bit. Um, Dark Horse, from memory, I think was, I think it was 8% um, Old Grandad Bourbon, because mm -hmm. same company, mm -hmm. um, and then 1% uh, Sherry. This, however, is 6 and 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, so a little bit more of the Sherry influence. A little more Sherry influence. Yeah. 
Hmm. Synchronized nosing there without even, yeah. That was good. That's a, that's a Lawrence Graham catchphrase at the Companions of the Quake tastings. Synchronized, synchronized nosing. Synchronized nosing, yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Lovely. Yeah, sweet, nutty, spicy, really weirdly degluggable. Like, it does not taste alcoholic at all. I mean, it's not even the bare minimum. It's not 40, it's yeah. 42. And even that's, then, like... That's outstanding. Yeah. That, and I mean, I'm, we are in Big Bad John's. This is... It's a not that whiskey. I would ever do it. This is shootable whiskey. And that goes not just due to the absolute drinkability of it, but there's very little burn to it. There's no burn. It's just... Oh, there is zero burn to this whiskey. There's just a nice sort of crisp spiciness in the back of the tongue. And it's just... That... This is yeah. the perfect whiskey for someone who would normally do something like Jameson, for example, at a bar. Yeah. This is a great bar whiskey. Yeah, but it also would work well in cocktails, and it would also just works well neat in a Glencairn. It's multifaceted, multipurpose. I think this is an outstanding, outstanding rye. Um, would, it, would it be the rye of your life? The ride of your life? That was a very forced pun, I'm sorry. It would. <laughs> it would be the rye of my life. <laughs> well, thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, take a look at our other video as well this month because, of course, we have two whiskey. Oh, yeah, I didn't even mention. You can come and try this. <laughs> That's why we opened it. Um, no, any, I mean, yeah, any Dram Association member can swing by Strathale Wine and Spirit Merchants any, any day but Wednesday before 7 o'clock and try um, a little dram of this on us. Um, please. Yeah. Please, Please come and enjoy it. And if you like it, 10% off. Yeah, it Slash is bar. outstanding. And I'll Perhaps. see you on the next one where we have the uh, this month's premium whiskey. Enjoy. I might stick around for that. Oh, you should. <laughs>